If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I'm going to showcase all of the new exotic weapon ornaments we know coming with the Age of Triumph. So the third and final bunch of stream ended earlier today and damn we got to witness some amazing shit. I've already posted two videos showcasing and talking about the new uh, red armors and talking about the new red exotics and if you miss them you will find them linked in the video description. Okay so today I want to show you guys all the new exotic weapon ornaments coming with the Age of Triumph that we know of. Now something really interesting, as far as I am aware, these new weapon ornaments are obtained from the Treasure of the Age packages which can be obtained for that real life dollar dollar via Test Eververse or you can earn free per week across all three of your characters. As far as I'm aware, this is the only place you can get these new exotic ornaments. On a previous stream from Bungie they showcased all the contents of these Treasures of the Age packages and we saw 7 new ornaments but in today's stream we saw an 8th. Where is this obtainable from though? I have no idea. Ok so in the order we did see these preview them in that previous stream starting with the Undiscovered Country. This is a new ornament for the No Land Beyond which I absolutely love. The No Land Beyond being my favourite weapon by a mile. I love the way it's actually added bits to the weapon that being the stand at the front. Next up we have Devourer of Moons, this is an ornament for the Necrochasm, the Crotus End exotic weapon. To be honest it doesn't look that too far different from the standard Necrochasm but gives off a blue glow instead of the standard green glow we're normally used to. Next up we have the Chrono Shot, which is the ornament for the Water Glass Raid Weapon, the Vex Mythal Class. Now we have seen a lot of this ornament now, but it still looks fucking epic compared to the standard custard yellow uh, Vex Mythal Class that we're used to. Next up we have Settled Score, which is for the Touch of Malice. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about this one. I think Bungie probably could have done a little bit more with it. And I think I prefer the original colour, but that's just me. Next up we have Tiger Shark, this is for the Dragon's Breath, I'm not gonna lie I think this thing looks absolutely incredible, shame I don't really like the weapon though. Next up we have the Perfected Predator. This is for the Lord of Wolves, a Seaver theme which I fucking love. I tried making a concept of how I think this would look, which you guys can see on screen now, and not too far different I suppose. Next up we have the Basilisk's Glory. This is for the Surus Regime, the Surus Way motherfucking Jim. This I do love, taking one of my favourite weapons and making them look even fucking better. Cannot wait to obtain this one, I really can't. So people that is it for the ornaments obtainable from the Treasure of the Age packages. So what about this mystery one? Well within the stream we saw a second ornament for the Surus Regime, which doesn't seem to be obtainable from the Treasure of the Age packages. So where does this one come from and it begs to question are there more hidden ornaments for weapons in the game? I'm pretty fucking interested to find out. What about you? I truly hope we see a Seaver theme Queen Breaker's Bolt. I mean obviously the Lord of Wolves being a fallen weapon, fallen and Seaver linked. Maybe, just maybe, a Seaver theme Queen Breaker's Bolt, that'd be badass. But guys let me know what you think about this hidden ornament. Thanks as always for stopping by, subscribe if you're new around here, turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never
never get it right. Left in the dark.